Uh, one way to make basic buffer solution, a buffer that has pH above 7, is by adding a weak base such as ammonia to the salt of the weak base such as ammonium chloride. Then again, let's just investigate why do we need the salt in this uh, buffer solution. The base by itself, ammonia is a weak base. It's going to dissociate and it's going to give you only small quantity of a conjugate acid ammonium plus hydroxide. So this is the dilemma. This is your weak base and this is your conjugate acid. Uh, it's not important if you're weak base or strong base, you can neutralize any added acid. And it's not important if you're an acid or a conjugate acid, you're still an acid and can neutralize any added base. But this is the problem. If you only have 95% of a uh, weak base, you have quite sufficient base to react and neutralize any added acid. But if you only have, let's say, 5% of conjugate acid, you do not have enough. And that's where the salt comes handy. Because salts such as ammonium chloride, if they are soluble in water, which this one is, they are going to dissociate 100%. Meaning they will break into fragments and they give you ions of ammonium plus chloride, which is spectator. Now, by having the salt, then you have sufficient amount of the conjugate acid and you have the base to have a buffer solution. Now let's see what happens if we add small quantity of uh, acids. So add small quantity of hydrochloric acid. Now hydrochloric acid, uh, only hydrogen plus is the one that plays a role in acid-base reactions. Chloride, then again, it's just going to float around. So if you add HCl, it's going to react with NH3. So NH3 ammonia is going to react with H plus and it's going to neutralize and gives you some ammonium, which ammonium is going to be there and the pH is not going to change. Now, if you added HCl for sake of being able to write equations, it's the same thing. It will give you NH4Cl. Ammonium chloride, which then again dissociates to give you ammonium. So these two reactions are exactly identical. Now what happens if you add, for example, small quantity of a strong acid, sodium hydroxide? Then again, OH- minus is the only one that plays any role in this acid-base uh, reaction. Now hydroxide is going to react with your, your, um, your acid, which is NH4. So NH4 plus is conjugate acid, is going to react with sodium hydroxide or the hydroxide of sodium hydroxide to give you ammonia back plus H2O. Then again, ammonia is going to establish its own equilibrium and the pH is going to stay as is and there is not much fluctuation in pH. So no change or little bit of change in value of pH. So one way to make a basic salt is add a weak base to its own salt, such as ammonia and ammonium chloride. If you know this, you have sufficient information for IB.